Hello friends, welcome to Emily's On World. So in today's video, I will be discussing how to do illustration 27 of the section insurance claim. Okay, so I am directly getting into the question. A fire occurred on 15 September 2030 in the premises of Senenko from the following figures. Calculate the amount of claim to be lodged with the insurance company for loss of stock. So they had told us that. Um, a fire happened, a fire occurred uh, in the premises of Senan company. So, we are to calculate the claim amount. Okay, so that's what they are telling us. So, they have uh, given us uh, particulars and the amount. Um, this is the opening stock of 2012. And this is the closing stock of 2012. That is, opening stock of 2013 will be the closing stock of 2012. Okay, and uh, they have also given us the purchases of 2012 and purchases from, yes, there is a mistake here. Uh, they have printed it January 1st, 2012, but it is actually January 1st, 2013. So, I want you to correct it. Okay, so it is actually 3, 2013. Okay, so they have given us the purchase from the January 1st, 2013 to 15th September, 2013. Why did they stop here? Because... It was on September 15th when the fire occurred. Okay. So, that's why they have only given us purchase till this date. Now, sales. They have also provided us with sales uh, for the year 2012. And also, they have provided us the sales from January 1st, 2013 till September 15th, 2013. And they have also provided us some additional information. Let's read them. During the current year, cost of purchase has risen by 10% above last year's level. Selling prices have gone up by 5%. Salvage value of stock after fire was 4000 So, the cost of purchase is risen to 10%. And also, sales is also risen to 5%. I will explain it to you later while we are doing the questions. And they have also told us that they have saved some stock from the fire. And that stock is equal to the value of 4000 the rest of the stock was damaged. So, uh, the very first thing we have to do in this question is to prepare a trading account for the year 2012. So, let's prepare the trading account and explain the rest of things after it. And yes, I have prepared a trading account. Uh, you can prepare the trading account in much more beautiful way. <laughs> okay, I'm a lazy person, so that's why. So, I please adjust with it. So, I have prepared a trading account. That is for the year 2012. Now, what we are going to enter into it will be the opening stock, right? So, I am going to write the opening stock. Opening stock is of value 40,000. Yes, we brought it down. The next thing that comes is purchases, right? Purchases. Purchases for the year 2012 will is um, 80,000 and you wrote it down next thing which they have provided us is sales in in 2012 that is sales 120,000 okay then can you see anything other than this uh, yeah stock closing stock they have also provided us with closing stock that is opening stock of 2013 will be the closing stock of 2012. So, closing stock is equal to 60,000. Okay. So, now we got all the figures and now we can balance just. Um, after balancing, you will get 180,000. 180,000. Yes. Now, the balancing figure will be in the debit side that is the cross profit gross profit Canada okay so now we are to balance this the balancing figure will be 60,000 okay so we got gross profit from the trading account now we are to find the gross profit ratio how do you find gross profit ratio gross profit divided by sales into 100 and you will get the gross profit percentage percentage of gross profit or, or else you can also say ratio so gross profit is uh, gross profit in this case is 60000 and we are dividing it with sales which is equal to 120000 and multiplying it with 100 and you will get 50 percentage 
right now we have to apply this 50 percentage in the memorandum trading account okay i'm going to show you that so this is the first section of this question this is how we do the first section of the question i guess everything till here is clear now we are going to prepare the memorandum trading account i have prepared a memorandum trading account here for the period january 1st 2013 till the date when the fire occurred the fire occurred on 15 september 2013 so we are to prepare a memorandum trading account so here you will be able to see there is two amount columns right why are we preparing two amount columns we are preparing two amount columns so that you guys will be clear how we are doing it um, in the textbook also they have provided us with two amount columns um, you can also prepare this question you can also prepare memorandum trading account with only one amount column so here the first amount column we'll be writing the amounts of the current year and here will be the last year so what do you mean by current year and last year that is nothing but um, in the current year they have given us in the additional information that there is a recent i mean there is a rise in cost of purchase and there is a rise in uh, uh, sales right okay we are assuming that if there wasn't any rise in purchase in cost of purchase and the, if there wasn't any rise in sales what will be the amount okay so that's what they mean by this last year column okay that is current year in the addition information you will be able to see that in the current year cost of purchase cost of purchase has risen by 10 percentage and cost and sorry and sales is also risen to five percentage so what they have provided us in the question that is in the particular section will be the amount which is already risen right yes so i will explain it in detail but right now let's just go with the flow okay so here will be the particulars okay right so we are going to enter start entry that is the very first figure or very first particular we have is opening stock opening stock okay opening stock is same in both because there isn't rise of course in the last year so we are just writing it 60,000 itself 60,000 from where did you get they have provided us the closing stock sorry the opening stock here 60,000 so that's what we're writing here next is purchases yes okay there is something we have to do with this purchases the purchases which they have given us in the question is of current years right so in the current year they have told us that they have told us that the cost of purchase is risen to 10 percentage so this 1 lakh 76 thousand is already a risen amount i will show you that is there will be a cost and 10 percentage was increased and the result was 176000 so what will be this amount this will, amount will be equal to 100 percentage isn't it so that means 176000 is equal to which is equal to 110 percentage so it is easier for us to find what is this amount is right so just do 176000 divided by 1 sorry 1 10 percentage and you will get this amount this amount is equal to 160000 so why are we doing this we, are, we have to find we have to know what is the amount uh, if there wasn't any rise right so this is the cost 160000 is the real cost and this 10 percentage was increased to it and we got 176000 Okay, so this one lakh sixty thousand is to be returned here, here. Okay, right. So that's clear now. Now we have to write down sales. Sales. Uh, sales. They have provided us with two lakh ten thousand. So this two lakh ten thousand is the amount uh, which have also a five percentage increase in it. That is, uh, there was an amount cost for sorry there is an amount and to this amount five percentage was increased and the result was two lakh ten thousand so this amount will be equal to hundred percentage isn't it so, so what does it mean two lakh ten thousand is equal to one not five percentage so we have to find this amount in order to write it here right so 
2 lakh 10,000 divided by this 2 lakh 10,000 is equal to 1 not 5 percentage isn't it so divided by 1 not 5 percentage and you will get 2 lakh yes yes you got 2 lakh here now what shall we do they have not provided us with the closing stock so what we have to do is that write down the gross profit gross profit okay how do we find gross profit we have already found a gross profit ratio isn't it gross profit ratio is equal to 50 percentage we found it while doing after doing the trading account so what we have to do is we know that we are we have to apply that gross profit ratio in the amount of sales right so we're going to take this 2 lakh we are going to take this 2 lakh 2 lakh into 50 percentage we are applying that gross profit ratio to this 2 lakh and then you will get an amount um, which is 1 lakh okay now we have to balance last year's column so while balancing we'll get closing stock as a balancing figure for the last year isn't it so let's just balance it you will get three lakh twenty thousand here three lakh twenty thousand here okay and uh, the balancing figure will be one lakh twenty thousand okay they have already told us that in the current year the amount the cost of purchase is risen to 10 percentage right so in order to find the closing stock of the current year it is easy let's just add 10 percentage to this one lakh twenty thousand and then you will get the closing stock for the current year which is equal to one lakh thirty two thousand okay first we found the balancing figure of the last year and then we add 10 percentage to this amount why are we adding 10 percentage to this amount because in the current year they have told us that there is a increase of 10 percentage to the cost of purchase isn't it so that reason that is um, the increase in the cost of purchase is going to affect in the closing stock right definitely so that's why we are adding this 10 percentage to this one lakh twenty thousand and then we got the closing stock of current year that is equal to one lakh thirty two thousand okay now we have to balance the current year's column okay and uh, you will get three lakh forty two thousand yes three lakh forty two thousand we are writing it down here as well three lakh forty two thousand now what will be the balancing figure of the current year balancing figure of the current year will be the gross profit isn't it so we'll get one lakh six thousand as the balancing figure yeah we got one lakh six thousand as the balancing figure we finished preparing memorandum trading account so now what we have to do next so we prepared memorandum trading account in order to find the amount of this closing stock okay so that we will be able to calculate the amount for the claim so we understood that the closing stock was one lakh thirty two thousand that means 15 september 2013 before the fire occurred there was a stock which was equal to 1 lakh 32,000 isn't it so we are writing it down 1 lakh 32,000 and they have also told us that they have saved a stock which is uh, equal to the value 4,000 so what we have to do we have to subtract this 4,000 from this 1 lakh 32,000 and what you will get you will get uh, one lakh twenty eight thousand as the answer so what does this one lakh twenty eight thousand this is the actual loss because in 15 september 2013 before the fire occurred they had a stock of value one lakh thirty two thousand and they could only say four thousand stock so the rest of the stock had been damaged or you can say it was lost in the fire in this question they have not provided us with policy amount or else we could have uh, compared this amount with the policy amount and then find whether the average close is going to apply here or not but since they have not provided us with the policy amount in the question we can assume that this is the amount which we claimed 
So this is the final answer. 1,28,000 is the final answer. We can just assume that this is the amount of claim to be lodged. So this is the answer. I guess you understood how this question is done. Um, if you have any doubts, you can comment. And thank you for watching my video.